Send your kids off to prom in style with a fun pre-prom party. Say it three times fast. It's harder than you think. It might be. <laughs> Here to show us some tasty appetizers you can serve. <laughs> Chef John Slattery from Four Main Street Restaurant in Huntington. Do you want to try hey, it? John. Pre prom party, pre prom party, pre prom party. Not fast enough. See? Oh. Not fast enough. Pre prom party, party pre prom party, pre prom party. That's good. Everybody <laughs> on the staff during the commercial said it first. I just can't talk. It's all right. All right, what are we making, John? Well, the, the whole point with this is that we want to try and keep it light and simple. Um, you know, wear, fits, wearing yeah. all those fancy dresses, lots of you know springtime light colors. So you really want to make sure that there's not a lot of things that can drip or fall or, or, or you know get on the clothes you know, or be, be cumbersome. Um, so you know, you're going to have a group of kids coming over maybe to have their pictures taken. You set up maybe an archway in your house or something with flowers and they can all go and stand and have their pictures taken. And like you'll have style. a little spread out alongside it. Maybe on a picnic table we could have some of the uh, you know fruit skewers with fruits that have already been dripped dry, you know, made, a, made a, the night before so that the, the watermelon oh, and the, had time idea. to drip out a little bit. And I even put on, this, on the skewers in here, I put a little green and uh, or, uh, red and yellow pepper kind of as a drip guard. That's a great idea. It's like a sheath. So something fun. Well, I, that's a good idea. I want to show that. See? There you go. So if it does drip, yeah. it'll drip right on. And not the only is it, is it fruit, it's vegetable, it's healthy, it's light, crisp. Mm -hmm. I thought that was fun. And the kids are probably all watching their figure these days before they go off to prom. Well, you, know, you know, guys, you know, the jocks and stuff like that want to eat healthy because they're yeah, playing they sports. Want to impress and, 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 everybody, yeah. you know, and, the, and the girls want to fit into that dress and that, you got to get the cummerbund and rest. So they don't <laughs> really want to eat too much or anything. We got to make it through the whole night, right? Kids are getting the spanks. <laughs> oh, I don't even so, know about that. No, no spanks is a, it's like a, it's a <laughs> that's a conversation for another day. Ah. It's not what you thought it was, it's a piece of clothing. Wonderful. So also things like, <laughs> We're getting um, off topic. Fresh fruit, <laughs> yeah. uh, small things they can pick up, you know, berries, uh, you know, berries with dip or, uh, you know, meat. A uh, meat like a, a charcuterie. A plate. charcuterie. That's the fancy way to say meat plate, right? Meat plate. Yeah, you know, meat cheeses, um, breads. You know, we've got some crostinis here. That we're just a little bit where they can. So it's just light things. Yeah. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to put together two different two crostinis. I'm going to. If one of you would pull the the crostinis out of I the oven over there, there's a, a mitt. And then I've got here some cream cheese. Now we talked about how we didn't want things to be drippy, so we want to make sure that, right. that what we're making is going to stick. To the little bread, like canapes and fun stuff like that. So canapes. Right. Oh, there yeah, we're, we're nice. starting, it's starting to get pretty warm. All right, right there. <laughs> okay, Mr. thank Mr. you. Seth. <laughs> All right. And so we've got some fresh wild ramps, which are like green onions, but they actually grow in the hills of Western Massachusetts. Really? So we were for, foraging some this weekend for the restaurant. Um, so I brought a little bit of it in to show you what they look like. I was wondering and why, so, I thought you brought a plant for so show. So you know, we're gonna get that garlic chive taste out of one of our one of our native one of our native uh, plants. So that's what nice. a ramp tastes like, garlic chive. It's, it's garlic chive flavor. It's it's in the leek family. You know, every year in this time of year in spring, I really love to bring them out and uh, and utilize them the best we can. And so we're just gonna mix a little bit of that with our um, cream cheese. No, it doesn't get more fresh than that, right? And some no. salt and pepper, which right below you there. there you salt go. and pepper, no problem, I'm on it. <laughs> How much do you want there? Just yeah. a little bit. We just want to flavor our cream cheese a little bit, because what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the roast beef. Beautiful. And we got the garlic chive, and we're just going to take one of those crustinis that you made over oh, there. Yep. Oh, yep. And we're going to put a little bit of this now I know garlic chive flavored, all native cream cheese, and it's nice and sticky so that it's not going to drip off the cracker when they pick right. it up. Right. And, just and then just a small piece of beef, and you know we're going to press it in again so it doesn't drip off the plate so when they pick it up off the plate they can you know have those little bite sized things but it's about not being drippy and here's a tip if you see crumbs on your friend's face tell them oh that's very and something in their teeth too you know oh, that yeah. I get this. In their teeth. gotta let them know <laughs> yeah and now here we're gonna do a little buffalo chicken so we've got cream cheese buffalo chicken and a little bit of oh, uh, wow. chicken I just steamed with olive oil so you steamed the chicken how do you do that well I only put the tiniest drop of olive oil in and then put the chicken in with its juices and the pan was hot Moved it off to the side and put the lid on it. And it cooked in the steam of its own juices with just a couple drops Ooh, of olive oil. Wow, Interesting. what a good idea. Huh. And we're so gonna that mix goes that in. Once again, cream cheese? Yep, the cream cheese, and then just a little bit of our signature buffalo sauce uh, from Four Main Street here. This looks amazing. Uh, there you go. Same Celery, thing with this idea. Cream we'll cheese, mix it in chicken. again. Grab the same spoon. Yeah, the it's somewhere. There it is. Mix that in. Oh, this is a great idea. And then we've got a little bit of the celery I chopped up in there too. So we've got celery and blue, uh, cream cheese and the and the orange drippy sauce. But now because we worked it into the cream cheese, it's going to be able to stay on the bread and not be something drippy. So wings would be a terrible choice yes. for for oh a, my this gosh, party. That'd be the but worst. chicken wing flavored crostinis, something that's not going to drip. You know, we can make it. You can make something yeah. along that line. Here, Ashley, slot me on some of that. I have to try it. Okay. 
These Delicious. are excellent ideas, John. Thank you so much. There you go. And you want to make sure, obviously, that your cream cheese is nice and soft so that yeah. you just yeah, mix yeah, it right we together. We can work it together, but we just want to put one together. or two together so that everybody can see how easy it was to... It's so but easy. How important is it using something thicker than just putting a slice of cheese and cracker or something saucy dips? You know, that stuff is going to drip on there. those beautiful rented clothes, and, and they'll have to clean up. That's true. Before I the pictures, always especially. drip. If, it is dri if it's drippy, it's going to drip on me. That's always <laughs> happened, so... Uh oh that's great. So these are great ideas. Thanks so much, John. Okay, and we're going to come back and make punch up? later. Yes, so that'd we're be, that's going to be a lot more fun. A bit. And we're also, John, are, how, how much of a dancer are you? Are you a dancer? Do you, do you dance well, I love prom? to dance, but I don't think anybody else likes to see me <laughs> dance. Oh, well, they will. Later <laughs> in the show. <laughs> Welcome back to Mass Appeal. We're starting to dance over here, and we're back with Chef John Slatter for Main Street Restaurant in Huntington. No prom is complete without some punch. So we've got some punch in addition to our appetizers. Yes. Right? I can't okay. wait. So we're going to make two punches. Two punches? We're going to make one that's near and dear to me that I love a lot. And then we're going to make one that's for your, your extra fancy punch, for your extra fancy prom punch. So Ooh. this one here, we started with um, two pounds of fresh strawberries, and then we soaked them with uh, four cups of sugar in a, in a glass jar. Look at that color. And they what yielded, an idea. And they, yield, and they yielded us not only this much juice, so, so what's the principle behind that? Why are you soaking it in sugar? It, well, the sugar uh, allows the, the strawberries to break down and release their juices. All so that, this liquid uh -huh. came from the strawberries. Oh my gosh, that smell is amazing. amazing. So we've got a really so it's nice... It's kind of like a strawberry simple syrup, yep, in a sense. I, I, it's like that, that sugar drink that you make with, you, with the scoops and, you, and oh. you shake it up and that guy busts through the window. <laughs> it's a lot like that, but all natural, just all from natural. sugar and strawberries. So we've got that started right there. And then I've got some... a. Uh, a berry flavored seltzer water for the fizz and bubbles. Oh, oh well, we yeah! definitely got the fizz and bubbles. That's there the kind of party I and want. You know it works. <laughs> That's the Celsi talking. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. But you know what? It's good. It's not, it won't stain your clothes. Right. That's true. Right. Oh, oh even the red. Well, that, that was the whole point. So we made a red colored punch with it, but it's really nice. And we're going to we put some of the strawberries in it and some blood oranges slices. And so we've got a really nice red punch. Oh, but what if accidentally you spilled some on your shirt? You're going to have your to go dress. to a, a prom so, with no shirt on. It's right. Well, that's an interesting... You that, could do that. That's an interesting... So we've got this beautiful blood orange and strawberry punch made with fresh strawberry juice and uh, blood oranges. But, so, if we're really worried about staining our clothes, we're going to make a white punch. So we can, I'll put All that right. to the front. Oh, yes, because we want to show it off. Look at how pretty that is. And you could add lots more strawberries and, you know, some of the, some of the, now, the strawberries. Now, John, before we continue with the white punch, if it was an adult-themed party, what might you add to that? Well, I'd say rum probably and strawberry goes together best if I were if I rum, were to guess. Rum strawberry, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So here we're gonna do a white like a sangria, but without any alcohol in it. So we're gonna do we're gonna use white grape juice. Okay. Not carbonated, so no fear. No fear at this point in time. White <laughs> grape juice for that nice clear. Well, that won't stain your clothes. Right. That's true. And then we're gonna use white cranberry juice that they have out now, which is really good. So we get a little bit more tart flavor. Without the color, you, you don't, don't have to worry, worry about, about that it. red stain again. Right. That's true. And we were talking about earlier if you're afraid that someone might spike the punch. A lighter colored punch makes it a little bit harder to spike. Yeah. So it might be a good idea for a, for a high school kid. And then we've got more light colored uh, fruit for this. We've got green grapes and bananas and pineapple. Oh, great idea. Banana. Ooh. There's some bananas. Some nice tropical there. flavor. You know, and, and fruits that won't stain. Pineapple. We could, you know, and this is, uh, you know, at our, and where the restaurant is, is in the Gateway Regional School District. So their colors are um, blue and gold. So you could theme your fruit like that. So I got some yellow kind of goldish pineapples here and some blueberries Good to kind idea. of go along oh with their gosh, color scheme. I love that idea. But you know, if you could, you know, and the, match your plateware to go with your, the high school that you're going along with or something along that nature, if, I think it'd be a lot of my, fun. If your parent did that and you didn't know, wouldn't that be, you'd feel like the coolest mm -hmm. kid in oh, town. Here we go. Oh, well, let's see if we got another explosion. So now I've got just a little bit of orange soda. Uh, not real, uh, not orange soda, but orange seltzer with actual orange juice for the healthier to give us our fizz here. And so we've got, you know, a nice light colored, non-staining uh, option for punch and a really great flavor with the citrus. And we can add, we could add the green grapes, the bananas, and you know, get that really nice fruity flavor. I love it. Oh, wow. Another I love that idea. one you can idea. add to for green is the kiwi. That gives a nice color into the into the punch. And the See, kiwi's, kiwi's underutilized. It looks, it's such a good looking fruit. It is very pretty. Oh, see? 
John, I love this. That makes a party. This now, is people great missed for it, even just a summer party, too. If, if people missed it earlier, we were talking about the appetizers to use. And you're saying a lot of finger foods, things that can't spill. Yeah, no drippy sauces, things that aren't messy, things that hold firm, like we made the canapes and, you know, the, the roast beef and the cream cheese stick so they don't, it's not going to fall <laughs> on the clothes. That's a test. Any appetizer you do at a prom party, you should turn upside down yeah. for that, no, three that's seconds a, that's a good rule of thumb. to make sure it works. And you said also cut the fruit the night before so that all the juices come If you're going to use drippy fruit like watermelon or cantaloupe or honeydew, then you can let it that way. They'll have, they won't be as drippy when you, uh, when you use them. And your other tip from earlier, I don't know if, people, if we can get a, a tight shot of this, but it's our, it's our fruit stick with a sheath on it. We've used peppers to make a sheath so that if things are dripping, no worries. And you're covered. Also just have uh, you know some some wipes around too, just in case. Absolutely. <laughs> no party's complete without some wipes. Without some wipes, punch and appetizers, and then you're ready for prom. And your belly's full. Your thirst get is quenched. Get those kids out of here. Exactly. Get them and then out. Once the kids are gone, then the parents can have some fun. Right, yes. A bottle of Moscato or just a nice vodka, uh, probably in there. Exactly. Would Into that nice. one? Oh yeah. Great ideas. Yeah. Thank you so much, John. No problem. It was my Such pleasure. Such a great Thanks idea. We'll have today. these recipes on our website later today. MyMassiveAll.com. Happy prom. Happy prom. Happy too, prom. Too. <laughs>